Welcome to Ordway Sign Supply. In this video, we will show you how to set up an output on a thermal flask using the Roland LV290 laser and the rotary chuck. On this particular job, we will engrave the Porsche logo onto a 40 ounce thermal flask. First thing I'm going to do is select the logo and click on a file menu and print. Then I'm going to select the LB290 printer in the print range section. Next is very important that we select the selection radio button. We can now click the preferences button. In the DPI drop down menu we will select 600 DPI. We will then select the pen tab. Here's where we can select the head speed and laser power. I'm going to leave the head speed at 50% and reduce the power to 30%. Also check to see that the raster is checked and vector is unchecked. We will then select the advanced tab. In position mode, we will select center and make sure the smart center is unchecked. Next, we will select the paper tab. There are a few important things to check in this section when using the rotary chuck. First, we will make sure that the CCD button is unchecked. We will then make sure that the rotary fixture is checked in the optional item section. Last, we will need to enter the diameter size of our thermal flask. Since I like working in inches, I will change to imperial or inches in the unit section. I measured the diameter of the thermal flask and determined that it is approximately 3.6 inches. So I will enter 3.6 inches in the diameter box. Now we can click OK and return to the print window. Just in case we have several items in our Corel drawing, it is a good idea to click on the print preview button and make sure that we were only printing what we selected and that it is in our print area. We are now ready to output. So here we are back at the laser and I'm going to install the thermal flask into the rotary chuck. You'll notice that I'm grabbing the inside of the thermal flask with the jaws of the chuck and then tightening the jaws to the inside. We can increase the tightness of the chuck with two tightening pins. Now we're going to press the autofocus button to set the height of the focus for the laser. Next, we need to level the thermal flask and the chuck. First, I'm going to raise the bed up into the Allen wrench on the left hand side. Then I'll do the same on the right hand side by using the knob on the right hand support. Next, we will rotate the thermal flask slightly and set the center point with a red laser dot. We can now hit the start button on the panel to output.
One additional area that we've had questions on is regarding to an error message when outputting to the rotary chuck. I'm going to illustrate why we get this message and how to correct it. When we output onto a cylindrical object, we can picture the rounded surface being peeled off into a flat plane. Commonly, when we select output using the rotary chuck, we'll use the center function so we can place our logo in the center point of the cylindrical object. If we have not given it enough room, or at least half the distance of our logo, to accommodate the output, the laser will not continue and give us this error message. For example, if we centered our logo and half of it is hanging off the end of the page, then we will get this error message when we output. All we need to do is rotate the thermal flask enough to give us at least half of our logo onto the theoretical page. Now when we send the job, it will continue as normal.